The Amherst Survival Center mission is to connect residents of Hampshire and Franklin counties with food, clothing, health care, wellness, and community. People can come for a basic need. They don't have to detail to us what that basic need is. They can be totally self-directed in getting it met, but at the same time, they can access other services. People who have dealings with social service agencies are often asked a lot of very intrusive questions. At the Survival Center, all we ask you is what we can do for you. When you come through the doors at the center, everyone should feel welcome, appreciated, and expect to be treated with dignity and respect. And we pretty much achieve that every single day. And we do that every week with about 220 people who come in for about two to three hour shifts and help create and deliver all of our services. At the time when I worked, there was approximately five to six staff members, and the rest of it was handled by volunteers. So to have a organization that can do so much for people that's basically driven off of volunteers, to me, just seemed ecstatic. One of the things I really observed while I was at the Survival Center was how people, no matter what they had or didn't have, they were very generous for the most part. So if someone had almost no money but had a car, she would pick up food for other people and bring it to their houses for them. Their initial motivation to come to the center is because they want to give back. But very quickly in that volunteer's life at the center, they're able to sort of articulate to us that though they came to give, they didn't expect to get. Whatever anybody had to give, it felt like an environment where gifts were really appreciated um, at every level. We never thought of this at the beginning as an organization. Well, my recollection very strongly is um, being in the garage of Jane Halapa, I think it was on Lincoln Avenue, Lincoln, and Jane had had this wonderful idea that there was no reason for us to be going out and buying new clothes for our kids if the, somebody else had clothes that would fit our kids that had been worn for four months before they outgrew them. So it was just kind of a community swap. It just made so much sense to be building community in that way and sharing. So that's how it started. The old survival center was in a basement and there's just no dignity in a basement. The food came in through a window and we'd have to catch it and um, load pallets of food at the food bank. Then they would lift it onto the truck and then unload the pallets and slide them through a window. It was very crowded and or intimate depending on how you wanted to describe it. As we started to add programs like cooking classes and other things, it just became this whole um, like chess game of figuring out when things can happen. Going into that new building and being above ground and having light pouring in and having room for people to spread out and have lunch, it just felt, it, it felt very powerful. When it was time for Jane to leave the job, she was so worried that she wouldn't be able to find the right person, a person who was just uh, full of respect for everybody who came to the center. And when she found Vanji Westcott, she was so thrilled. She had exactly the same philosophy as Jane did in terms of finding people's strengths and um, treating everybody with respect and honoring them as human beings. Through now the fourth executive director, Jane, Vanji, Cheryl, and Mindy, uh, that's remained the same and I hope it will for forever. <laughs> Jane would be so happy. When I started, a lot of people said to me, don't make this into an agency, don't make this into an agency. And at first I was kind of puzzled because like, well, it is an agency. But then I understood what they meant. Don't turn it into a place that's cold, that is difficult to get into, where people are made to feel that they're accepting help. If there's one thing that has endured throughout the Survival Center, it's been that, that spirit. And that is sort of the heart of, that is the heart of what the Survival Center has meant to people and I hope continues to mean to people. We all have this need to be there for each other and to support one another and that can be beyond clothing, food, healthcare, that can be something much deeper. So I think that the Survival Center, will, the Amherst Survival Center will be here for quite a while and uh, I look forward to seeing how it continues to enrich all of our lives.